Okay, so this video will be about Jamal Kane of the Miami Heat, aka another Heat gem. Okay, for those who don't know, Jamal Kane is playing for the Miami Heat as a in a training camp deal, and is playing well so far. He's averaging 17 points, eight and a half rebounds. 3.5 steals on 50% from the field and 50% from three. He's a 6'7", 191 pound small four. As for his college background, he did spend four years in Marquette doing absolutely nothing until he transferred to Oakland where he averaged 19.9 points. 10 rebounds, 1.8 steals on 50% shooting. Now, why did he go undrafted? Simple. He was a five-year college senior who's already 22, well, 23 now. And he shot 29% from three in college. But in the NBA, he's shooting really well. Now, of course, he did get signed on a, on a summer league deal by the Miami Heat and played well enough in summer league that the Miami Heat invited him to training camp. And preseason, he's playing really well. That's good news for him. This is also good news for the Heat, but again, it's also bad news. Simply because if they do indeed sign this guy, they'll be over the hard cap. And if they replace either Garrett or Days for Jamal Kane, well, that's another tough decision. Because Garrett is an elite defender, and Darius Days, well, you don't know what to, to expect of him just yet. So, in short, Jamal Kane is making it tough for the Miami Heat this coming season. Whether or not they have to keep him. My prediction, though, they won't keep him for two reasons. One, he's not a position of need. The position of need right now for the Miami Heat is a power forward. And they have five guys competing for that spot. Caleb Martin, Darius Days, Hayward Highsmith, my guy Nikola Jovic, and Omer Yurtsev. And the second reason, and let's be real, this might be the biggest reason why the Miami Heat will not keep Jamal Kane. It's simply because they will be able to find another Jamal Kane. Hell, this college season, there might be... The Heat may find the next Jamal Kane, for crying out loud. They always find guys like Jamal Kane. They did it with Derrick Jones Jr. They did it with James Ennis. They did it with Duncan Robinson, Gabe Vincent, so on and so forth. But I do want to see Jamal Kane get signed by anyone. Whether, like I said, whether it's the NBA, overseas, whatever. Sign this guy because he's that good. And that's the end of my video. Thanks for watching. And see ya.